Hello! I am now up, awake, and trying to figure out how to close this window. <laughs> there we go. And then... Clip. Okay, so if you've watched the last video, this is where we left off. This is the same outfit. It's a little bit frumpy, but I'll have my coat over it anyway in a minute because I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try and figure out supermarkets. <laughs> I've actually done some research, that's the kind of person I am, to see what are like the top brands of supermarkets in Japan and I figured out that there are two not too far from me so today I'm gonna try one and maybe another day I'll try the other but I'm gonna try and figure out like breakfast I think like I'm gonna try like it's baby steps I wanna try and figure out what I can have for breakfast I haven't like I haven't gone to the kitchen yet. I've gone to the kitchen once and just like had a quick look around, but I haven't actually like really been in the kitchen area yet. I don't know that looks like in the lounge area and it kind of freaks me out. But baby steps. So I'm gonna try and figure out breakfast. I want to try and figure out laundry detergent and fabric softener. So I've obviously done some research on that. And maybe when I get back I can try and figure out the laundry machine so we'll, we'll see what happens there so let's go well, that was intense <laughs> that was way that was way too but I did it. I forgot like a bunch of things, but I did it. Could have been worse. Could have had a full meltdown. Could have been, I don't know, I could have knocked someone over. Could have knocked a cart over. Could have, yeah. Been, yeah. Could have been worse. I tried to keep as calm as possible. Um, I have some food now. <laughs> I have some stuff in my fridge, even though I don't know what half of it is. Um, <laughs> like the three carrots, oh my god, the prices of fruit and veg, like, ridiculous. Um, and the most expensive thing I got was the oatmeal, so I think that since I eat, like, a shit ton of oatmeal, I'm gonna see if I can find an international supermarket like Costco, or I saw not, I saw other ones on the list, so I have to see how far they are from me, and maybe I can, like, bulk buy some oatmeal. Yeah, you know something else that I <laughs> didn't realize, like, not didn't realize, but I completely forgot is I don't have any, like, eating utensils in here. And I'm not ready to go to the kitchen right now, not after the supermarket. But anyway, the time will come. Probably maybe t t tomorrow. Yeah, I'm feeling tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Um, my freelance work now and maybe after I will go out just for fun like not like to buy a pillow grocery shopping or Daiso for stuff for the house like maybe I'll just go out for a walk take the subway to like more central Tokyo and see what happens we'll see okay okay every time I come back into this room even though I air it out and I spray this thing all over the place, all the time. There's still this smell. It's not like pungent or anything, but it's like you walk into the room and it's kind of like, hmm. It's like not this nice little fragrant room I want it to be. So I think I'm gonna have to buy like these uh, scented reeds or like a scented candle or something because I'm very sensitive to smells. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, is there a dead body in the ceiling or something? I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not a pleasant, homey, cozy smell. Anyway, I said I'd go out and have do something fun, but jet lag got the best of me. So I dragged myself out again to, not the Daiso, but another 100 yen store that I walked nearby earlier. And I thought it would be a good idea to go, like, buy some chopsticks and maybe like a mug so I can have some tea and stuff like things that I can keep in my room like bring back from the kitchen when it's once it's ready bad idea it was 
filled with people. It was like grocery shopping 2.0. And like there's like a drugstore. And then on top of it, there's like the, what was it called? Syria? Syria? Saya? It sounded like that uh, on top of it. <laughs> it was filled to the brim. Maybe it just opened or something, but it was way too full. Maybe it was only because it's Sunday? I don't know. I, I haven't figured out like affluent hours yet, but it was, it was, I did not have that. <laughs> They're going there, but at least I have chopsticks now. And um, what was the other thing I was going to say? I don't remember. There was something else I was going to say. Maybe the fact that this pimple keeps getting bigger by the minute. Did you hear that sound? If you heard it, that was my stomach. I'm hungry again. What the hell? I remember what I was going to say. I got some laundry detergent and fabric softener and I took a picture of the laundry machine. out a little bit at the there's a small training room i showered obviously got my face on and then and then i had breakfast downstairs okay i still like super stressed out and like threw things in the microwave and i was like okay i don't want to get into anyone's way and the cleaner was here and i don't know why i think maybe it's the piercings but this time around less people are like talking to me like I say hello, like I say oh hi gozaimasu and stuff like that, but no, very few people respond. And it says in the house rules, you're supposed to say hi to each other. So I don't know, like the cleaner was talking to this other Japanese girl, but when I said hello, she like just kept her head down and like went away. I don't know how I'm supposed to take it, but oh well, I'm sure, like I'm out of breath, out of... Like I was super nervous um, having my little banana porridge, but I did it. So like it's a step in the right direction, like I said before, baby steps. And now I'm going to see if there's a free washing machine. I think uh, something that might have scared her was my tattoos also, because my, my jumper gets sl slab sliding, slabbing down. Wearing dungarees today. My jumper gets sliding down. Gonna figure out laundry if there's a free machine. I think there's one free one, so. Never mind the laundry. I have to be in this, at the school very soon, so I don't have time to put a cycle on and be there to take it out, so. I'm thinking I'm gonna go get ready. Just came back from my school, got all the documents signed. Actually, there's a vending machine behind me, so I think I'm thirsty. <laughs> First vending machine since I am in Tokyo. What should we have? What am I in the mood for? Cider? <laughs> the rich juice, milk tea, maybe just a small hot tea. two batteries so and I'm hungry so why not go to Asakusa it's not that far away <laughs> I'll never get used to vlogging with my arm out like this so yeah I'm gonna walk to the metro station and go straight there I think that's the train station I need to go to I guess I felt like risking my life today it's nice weather, at least. Medium busy. We've seen better. We've seen worse. Those were super good last time. I should take one. Omi Fuji time? Nibo. 
I didn't get any food yet. I'm so hungry, but there are so many people and long, long queues. So at the other place that I wanted to try and get a little something, the queue was so big and like it was in the passageway where there are already a lot of people. So my anxiety went no. So now I'm kind of like, what am I going to eat? Where I'm going to eat it? Because I need food and I need it fast. <laughs> I'm a little dizzy. That's what I almost got last time and didn't because I was full. Me, I want to eat healthy. Also me, I'm starving. Give me the first thing I see that looks delicious. Oh my god. Hello calories. I don't even know how to eat this. Holy shit. <laughs> but I had a lick and it tastes super good. I'm gonna throw this away. It's quite a cue now. So I got lucky. <clears throat> Anyway, I can't say that it hit the spot, but it was an interesting experience. Yo, I found the steamed bun from the very first time I was here. I was looking for it last time in 2019 and couldn't find it. I have it. It's not healthy, but it's not ice cream in sweet bread <laughs> I guess I really want to die today can you see where I'm going? now can you see where I'm going? one of the first places I visited the first time I was in Tokyo am I gonna survive this? or am I gonna try and exit after the first five minutes? <laughs> Damage was done. Oh my god, way too much damage was done. I only made it to the second floor and I was like, okay, my basket is full of heavy stuff, expensive stuff, so I'm gonna head out. Um, so now that my bag is like super full, I can't even see it, it's, it's full. I guess I only, I can go back slowly take my time. I thought I'd check out this gachapon wall but it looks like it's been there a while like the pictures are all faded there's nothing really interesting so uh, I guess I'm gonna slowly head back there was this one gachapon machine that I wanted to check out but I don't remember where it was I'm completely disoriented but they had like the Pikachu pins that I've been collecting and I didn't have enough cash on the way there like the coins now I do but I don't remember where the damn machine is so I think I I'm gonna check Google Maps and I'm slowly gonna head back to home. I guess I can say that, you know, technically live there now. I'm gonna head back home and um, yeah, get to work because I haven't started work today yet. It's fun day. Not here as a tourist. That's the thing I'm gonna get, have to get used to. Like, don't buy so much shit. Don't forget to work. Um, probably other things too. Don't eat so much junk because, yeah, you can see it on my face. Wow, well, my feet. <laughs> They're so painful right now. Uh, that was a walk. Um, probably, oh, actually my Fitbit is almost dead. Come on, how many steps? 17,515 steps today. So I like almost doubled the recommended amount. It's a bit messy in the background. A little. I'm not gonna do a Don Quixote haul, because who cares? I uh, mainly bought a bunch of things like uh, big bottles of shampoo and conditioner and uh, body moisturizer, which I really need. Things like I couldn't fit in my suitcase and I knew that I was gonna be able to buy it here. Though obviously there's always the stress that I can't read the ingredients, so I don't know like, how, much, how bad, like, bad things inside might be in it, like, I don't know, parabens and stuff. Uh, if my skin might react to it. And also the battery is flashing. Good battery, held out almost all day. It's almost 4 p.m., so a good time to go home before the rush, get some work done, just threw in some laundry. Um, I'm just looking at I, what I 
bought at Don Quixote because I know it's a little bit crazy over there. My wallet is not going to be happy, um, but some things I have to buy, but I mean like, this is my bottle of moisture, body moisturizer. Hydrating lotion. This one says no alcohol, no fragrance, no synthetic color additive, so like, things like these that I managed to find that seemed not too harmful. I bought in, in like big format because Don Quixote is not that expensive. Um, <laughs> I've always wanted to try these skin patches, mostly because my pimples have been quite like very red on my face, and so if I can find ways to hide them without actually putting some concealer in them, uh, I wanted to try them. I mean, they were super cheap. Got some daily face mask to try and fix this issue. Bought some uh, face. Now that I'm, I'm looking at it, at it, I'm like, what even is this? Probably there was some English on the on the side. I use Google Translate quite a bit today. Super useful to just like scan things. Pretty sure this is some anti UV for my skin. Some stupid things that I'm like, why did I buy this? Sugar scrub stick. Didn't do too much of impulsive buying, thankfully. Some makeup removers that I've really been needing. This was kind of an impulse buy. I was looking for under eye, like these little patches, and this looks like a cream that I can use for there. Might be absolute shit. Hydrogel eye mask. So hopefully it help me with my super dark circles. But mostly what I wanted to show you was this. Like I said in the uh, the previous vlog or earlier, jeez, my my hairline is not, it's just weird these days. Um, in this vlog or in a previous vlog, well, I don't like the smell of this room. I keep spraying things and opening the window and things like that. So I finally bought a uh, reed diffuser and I was so happy that they had CBD products in Japan because I finished my CBD drops. Uh, that I had been taking back in Belgium because I stopped taking anti-anxiety meds and I really needed that extra push to let go of those meds. But I didn't think Japan would be open to CBD yet because it's kind of even relatively new even in Belgium. I'm gonna need scissors as well for this tape shot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bought some scissors recently, I just don't remember where. Um, yeah, so I was surprised to see that there was quite a lot of CBD products in Don Quixote. Like, I saw some CBD gummies and things like that. And I've never ever seen a CBD uh, reed diffuser before, so I kind of splurged on this one. Not gonna lie, this one was kind of expensive. But, and it didn't have, even have like the sample smells, so I'm really. Still flowing. I'm really hoping, shit, how much tape did they put in this thing? That it smells nice and that my room won't smell like a potpourri toilet, toilet potpourri is what I'm trying to say. You know, like, yeah, I think you know what I mean. I ordered three set, four cents, and they didn't have like sample things that I can smell them. There was a woody one, which I really hesitated, but you know, wood is so hit or miss. There was a classic tea one that I was that I almost got. There was this freesia one, which I like flowery smells if they're not too overpowering. And there was a white musk one. I like the white because it makes me think of like clean cotton smells, but musk, I'm not the biggest fan of musk, so I didn't risk this one. Um, I know everything's happening on the floor. Maybe I should just show you. <sighs> Look at this mess. Hello, welcome to my crotch. <laughs> I'm a lady. Doesn't seem like it, but I am a lady. Oh my god. This is gonna snap in my hands. Okay, okay, for a bit I will charge you and I know it is 4 p.m. Elastic off. When you buy these in Belgium, they're already filled, and you usually get so much shit on your fingers to just stick the reeds in them. So I don't know if this is a good alternative. 
because I still have to put the product in. Oh my god. Durr. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a satisfying pop. I'm gonna regret putting that plastic in cardboard. Okay, so I got this. It's a nice color, it's pink. Fits with the theme of my room. God, even here you can't see shit. Man, I told myself to stop swearing. But since I started vlogging, it's coming back. Okay, let me try and take a whiff without burning my nostrils. Mm. It smells really nice. It's a nice flowery smell. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Chill. I will not be mad if my room smells like this instead of this weird, like, lived-in, not very nice B.O. smell. Oh, am I supposed to fill it all to the top or not? Because there's a lot. Oh, I guess it's calculated. Yay. Okay, okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. It smells nice. So hopefully this will be a nice little uh, crotch. <laughs> Do not look at me. Uh, smell. I wonder where I'm gonna place this. Maybe in a corner. Cause I don't have any surfaces. So we'll try a corner, and if it just looks weird, we'll change it. Ta -da. Um, so much junk on the floor. I'm gonna try this corner because I don't think I will be spilling it if it's here. Let it not touch the walls though. The floor isn't even surfaced. It's a little janky. And the height of the writing. Okay, what do we think? Can I leave it in this corner? Or maybe that corner? Huh. Because I really don't have any surfaces, like I don't want it next to my head, I don't want it next to my computer, that's about all the decorative surfaces that I have. Maybe here. Yeah. For now, it shall be there. Maybe at the entrance, but I might kick it over. Yeah, for now, it will be there, I think. We'll see. Ta-da! I'm gonna go get to work, actually I'm gonna put all my junk away, drink some tea. Uh, sort this trash and then I'm gonna uh, get to work that is waiting for me there